Hey guys, um, I told you about a little experiment yesterday, and I figured while we're waiting for the the squirrels to come back up again and out of hiding from that last shot, we could go ahead and conduct that experiment. So what I have here is a never used little uh, espit stove. One of these guys, right? Nothing fancy, just does what it does and does it pretty well. And I saw at Walmart, oh cool, multiple positions, didn't know that. I saw at Walmart that they had these little uh, Weber grill starters. And they're, they're pretty easy to find, they're right there in the, uh, the grilling section. Uh, plain as day, they come in a big carton and it just says, you know, Weber fire starters and they show a picture of a couple of them on fire up underneath, maybe a charcoal starter or something. Well, they're kind of chalky, so I don't know how good they'll be, but let me see if I can get a better view of that for you. You know, they're not the perfect little formed blocks like you have for the, the actual Esbit solid fuel tabs. But I was just curious to see if these would work. Um, and if so, do they work as well? So let's uh, take some stuff out here. For this experiment, I'm gonna use my regular old canteen cup. I think I actually have the lid for it down there somewhere. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Seems like I would have brought the lid. Oh, you know what? The lid may have been in my haversack. Oh well. I'd much rather have a lid on this using these little tablets, but you know, it is what it is. So, find a little spot for that. How about right there? Well, this canteen cup. Yeah, sits on there nicely. Here, check this out. Oh, wrong way to do that. So I'll turn this thing so I can see it. There we go. So let's see what we can do here. All right, I'm gonna turn this off for just a minute. Sorry if this is a horrendous angle. But I'll fill this, I don't know. I like that, I don't know. Maybe a third. Remember to hydrate, folks. Anyone who tells you you don't need water because it's cold is dumb. So, I'm just gonna flick a bick on this operation today. They don't smell any better, that's for sure. Lit very easily though, I will say that. I'm gonna kinda turn this off to the side. And we'll let it do its thing. Stabilize that a little bit. All right. So automatically the soot is crazy. You can already see that building up on there, which is okay. 
I kind of wish I'd have brought one of my newer cups. That way I can... Now see, that I don't like, because that's going to make my, my handle all hot. So let's turn this around. Do it that way. Pretty stable, okay. So, we'll just let it do its thing. And if it boils it, it boils it. Kinda wish I'd a Oh, there's the... There's the lid, but I don't want to put it on there now. I'm afraid it'll get burned. I might just use it as kind of a windscreen. There we go. It can stand up to a little bit of heat. It's uh, silicone. It just can't be in a you know direct, direct flame. All right, so if I had to guess, it's not gonna quite make it to a boil. It came right up to it where you could start to see some bubbles just kind of popping up, but it never did get to the point where it was a good full rolling boil. So that's unfortunate, but truthfully, unless I actually had to boil some water, that's good enough. And we're not quite out yet, but we're close. So yeah, there we go, and now we're out. But water's good and hot. Clean off a spot to to drink on both sides. Mm. It's hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot. I might as well grab a tea. It's starting to like snow on me a little bit here. It's like big pellets of snow. So we'll do one of these guys again. All right. Yes, I'm picking up my packages. Uh, let's take a little, little sprig here. Yeah, it's probably somewhere between a third and a half on the uh, of the canteen cup. So I'll uh, do this for you, so you can kind of see where it's sitting down there. Mm. Oh, that ginger drink warms the soul. I definitely see little ice pellets falling. Oh yeah. Whew. That's good. I need to make a little insulator or something for this so it doesn't get cold quite as fast. But uh, I'm not mad at it. Another little stick here. Give it a little bit better to stir. So, 
if soot bothers you, probably not your thing. But soot doesn't bother me in the least. And honestly, uh, one thing that I like to do with it is uh, my gun sights. Not so much on the shotgun, but say, for example, if I had my muzzleloader out here, it has horrendous glare on the... Uh, on the rear sights so you can take a little bit of that smear that on that rear sight and now you don't have glare anymore smear it under your eyes whatever you got to do i mean you'd be walking around out here looking like a football player but whatever you know whatever you're into so yeah there is a lot of set but honestly if i had to use this it'd be the least of my concerns because usually this is my kit that i bring in the scenario that I'm going hunting, but I'm not planning to stay overnight. But if I happen to stay overnight, you know, I want to have uh, something that I can boil some water with. Um, at least at least get a fire going, or at least boil some water if I can't get a fire, just for something to drink real quick. Or just for something hot to drink if I'm, if I'm getting cold. Hey guys, check this out. Set. Piece of moss, knock that right out. If a little bit of soot on your uh, gear bothers you that much, just go home. I can understand you not wanting it in your pack all over the place, whatnot, on your clothes. I mean, it really doesn't even bother me on my clothes, but you know, I get it. There are some things that you don't want it on. In which case, just get a little uh, a little canvas uh, bag or something like that to throw it in and call it good. You know, uh, if I had my canteen pouch, I would throw this in there with the soot on it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't care at all. So, all right, well, it's time to pack up and get out of here. I don't hear any more squirrels moving, so I'm gonna take the one we got, probably add it to a bowl of chili when I get to the house, and. Uh, I tell you what, if I don't see anything on the way out, I, uh, as always, hope you succeed in everything you attempt to accomplish in your life. And uh, I'm going to go home and see if I can get a kit together for tomorrow. I, uh, I'm trying to avoid bringing the hot tent because I feel like that's kind of something that's been overdone lately. So I'm going to try to go a different route for you. So anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Have a great one. Have a great new year, by the way. Take care.